probably look a little bit crazy because I'm midway through doing my makeup. You're currently sitting on top of a Velispa candle because I didn't have my tripod. Um, what is going on? So today, well actually, this was supposed to be a weekend vlog. I started vlogging yesterday and um, Cam is in town and staying with us. And I started vlogging yesterday while we were actually out at the mall, but we were just having like such a good time with him and with Bashy that um, I just kept my camera turned off and lived in the moment. But don't worry, today I will be vlogging so that I will have something to put up on my channel tomorrow. Speaking of my channel, I don't know if any of you have noticed, but um, if you have tried to comment on some of my videos, the comments are turned off on pretty much all of them. Um, I don't know how much of this information has made it out to like the general public, but basically there's some kind of like sick pedophile scandal ring going on. I don't know. It happened on YouTube in another larger channel's comments. I don't I don't I don't even know the full details of it, but basically there was like transactions and things being made in the comments on uh like child pornography or something. Um I don't even want to get into the whole thing but either way the transactions were being made in the comments so YouTube just decided to disable all of our comments with if we have um, children in our videos so that basically that can't happen we can turn the comments back on um, but I have chosen to just leave it as is until YouTube figures out this whole thing I will be turning comments on on videos that um, Sebastian is not in so um, if you notice, like, I think on Wednesday I have a haul video coming up. Obviously, Bash would not be in a clothing haul video that, especially for clothes that aren't for him. Um, so, like, the comments will be on on that. Um, and hopefully um, we can get this sorted. Now, if I don't show Bash in my videos, then even if they're vlogs, then the comments will probably be turned on to those. But that may be why you may be seeing just a little bit less of him. Um, just for, I don't know, for the next week or so until um, we can get this whole thing sorted with YouTube. I just don't want to do anything that could potentially cause my channel to get snatched down off of YouTube because I've heard through the grapevine that um, they're not playing around right now and if they catch anything, like they'll take the whole video off and I don't want my videos being taken down just because I decided not to keep my comments turned off. So. Try to leave a comment if you can, if they're not disabled. And uh, if you can't, hit me up on Instagram. It's kind of hard these days, but most of the time I do respond to all of my direct messages, which has been really nice. Anyway, um, today is gonna be a fun day. I do have some like maintenance stuff I need to handle with myself. So my nail salon opens in 15 minutes. So I'm going to go over there and get a manicure and a pedicure because I'm going to the beach. You wanna have that stuff looking good when your feet are gonna be out, which means I actually need to shave my legs because it's been like a week. And then after that, I think I'm going to come home and meet back up with all of my guys, obviously Brandon, Sebastian, and Cameron. And we are, I think, going to go to the outlets. And it's so funny because Brandon actually suggested going to the outlets and he's not even a shopper. And I bet he won't buy anything me and Cam will. And he, but he's the one who suggests it. <laughs> That's so Brandon to do that. Okay. Makeup's done. Contacts are in. Clip-ins are not. I will put them in later. And my outfit isn't great either, but that is because I was fully prepared to get a, like a whole look going. And then I remembered I don't want to wear jeans because I will have to roll them up to get the pedicure and that's not comfortable. I hate that. So I just decided to throw on a sweatshirt. You guys have seen my choose kind sweatshirt and some Nike leggings and some sandals since I'm getting a pedicure. And then when I leave and come home, I will put on a real outfit. It is currently 58 degrees, which is about as warm as it has been 
in weeks. It's been raining the last two weeks every single day and it has been probably like 38 here so it's, it's been pretty cold and miserable. Bash and I did not do a lot of leaving um, this past couple weeks but um, my mood is just like so improved now that the sun is out. It's amazing how that really can affect people. I'm definitely one of those people that it affects. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to get my lovely little pedicure and manicure. So I've decided that I'm going to get white polish because it is a beach holiday and I just think that that is appropriate. Um, and it's not quite summer or springtime yet, so I don't wanna you know, go overboard with the colors. That's just my personal preference, obviously. I just feel, for me, for like a late winter, early spring beach trip, white is where I'm going to go this go round. home from the nail place I did stop and grab myself some breakfast which I'm about to sit and eat I'm probably gonna sit on the couch under my fur blanket because it's a little bit chilly in the house right now but I did get my white nails and I have white toes they still have the paper in between it is the most beautiful day outside right now I cannot wait for us to go to the outlets because it's gonna be so nice to be out like in the Sun with like a, a little coat or something but it's not freezing and that's oh, I'm so excited to go cam is upstairs sleeping so whenever he wakes up and I get dressed, um, I guess we'll go. Brandon and Sebastian are both upstairs. Um, I think Brandon was doing laundry when I walked up there a second ago and Bashi was watching something on TV. And I just have to say this, because, and this has nothing to do with what they're doing, but at the nail place, I think I had the best time that I've ever had there in my entire life. And that is because I've been going there for about a year now since we moved here. Usually I'm talking to my nail girl, it's the same girl who always does my fingernails. But this time, because I was getting a pedicure, which I haven't had in a couple months because it's winter time and I don't really get them in the winter. But this time I put my headphones in and I listened to one of my favorite podcasts, Goop, which is Gwyneth Paltrow's podcast. And I, she's so insightful. I honestly love listening to the stuff she says, but it was even nicer because before I started listening to the podcast, there was like classical music playing on the piano and then they started playing the like instrumental piano version to like some Beatles songs and some Carpenter songs and I love both and it was just like the whole atmosphere was so soothing and calm and I don't think it has ever felt like that there for me. I, this is so random, I know, but it was just like the best feeling. I, I felt so good while I was there. It felt so good to be there, I was so happy. And then I turned on the podcast and I learned some things and I just left with like the biggest smile on my face. And I don't know, I, I'm just like in a really good mood and now that's why I seemed so excited earlier when I'm like, I can't wait to walk around outside because I just, this day cannot get any better for me. And like, I just did something small. Anyway, I'm quickly about to eat this food. I have a waffle and some eggs and I need to eat it before it gets cold because breakfast does not ever hold. Um, and then I guess we'll get dressed um, soon and get ready to go out. We're moving through the night like we're from a different star. Flying over streets and the broken hearts. But they can even touch us without a different beat. Paradise is waiting and we bought the leaves Ooh, getting caught in the midst of so many that never get out of all right guys so we are getting ready to head out to the outlets and this i just wanted to show you my outfit really quickly i don't have my shoes on i've had them on all morning and then took them off but um i'm just wearing this little top with a pussy bow I cannot remember where I got this from. This is like a green blazer I got from H&M yesterday. I bought like a cream one too. Some faux leather jeans and then I'm gonna have on my new mules that I got from, I think I got them at Target actually. And I can show you guys those downstairs. And then this is a, it actually has a strap but it looks like a clutch. Snakeskin um, brown just for like a pop of color that I got from my mother-in-law so it's a little bit vintage and um, I just think it really is cute with this outfit. Here are the mules. I'll have Brendan show me on camera later so you can see the whole outfit together. 
We are here. It is very cold. We underestimated the wind. The sun feels good, but the wind is like on another level. So we ran into until we could get our wits about us because we were going so hard. I ended up getting two tops. Now we're headed to the Adidas store, which I probably won't buy anything. But the guys want to go in there. We got word party going on in there. started to go down so we are I think we're gonna get ready to leave but um, look for somewhere to eat because we're starving and I can't wait to get home and show you guys some of the stuff that I first actually I'm not going to show it because I have a haul coming up on Wednesday and I'll just show it all then I totally hate when people do that but I promise it will all be revealed on Wednesday I can take his bag Brandon <laughs> Put it here. We are at Tacos and Tequilas for some dinner. And I already know what I'm going to order. Oh, we're not in focus. I also don't know how much you can hear me. It's kind of loud here. just finished in the restaurant and it was actually really good it was very loud in there so I didn't really film the food was good but they messed up my order so I had to wait a little bit um, for them to re like cook the actual thing that I ordered and by the time that they brought it to the table Brendan had already finished his meal and all of his drink and everything so um, now we're just loading everyone back into the car Bash and Brandon right there Kim standing mm. out there we go. right there waiting to get oh in and then we're gonna head home I'm not really sure what we're doing when we get there Cam do you want to watch a movie when we get home or are you going to sleep or are you going out I might go out I'm not sure yeah well if you go out Brandon's probably gonna want to go to bed <laughs> good morning everyone so oh god bless you so last night after we got back from the restaurant Brandon Cam and I sat on the couch and probably talked for I don't know, two hours or so, maybe longer. And then Brandon and I got in the bed and talked for another like two hours. It was like the middle of the night. And then around 3 a.m., I'm gonna go in the playroom so I can watch Bash. And then around 3 a.m., Sebastian woke up with, I don't know if it was like a night terror situation or what, but um, he was just losing it, crying, screaming. He would not settle. We ended up bringing him back into our room because his room is right next to the guest room and we didn't want to wake um, Cam up. And so finally, like, we had to put him back in his room and he cried for a little bit longer. But that, this, that whole ordeal lasted. Bashy, that whole ordeal lasted for, like, I don't know, another hour so we did not get good sleep last night at all. Sebastian, come on, let's go night night. Let's get ready for bed. It's nap time, come on. Oh my gosh, I just had to stop really quick because he lost it again. But because of that, he woke up late and um, we had a very late breakfast and now it's like early afternoon. It's almost, I think it's around one maybe. And it's time for him to go down for his first nap. I can tell he's tired. He's yawning all over the place because just our, our sleep was a mess. And I think I'm actually going to take a nap too when I put him down. We are just not functioning well, well today. On another note, this top is one of the tops that I bought yesterday at Gap. I'll just show you the outfit I'm wearing just so you can see it easier. So because I'm just in the house, I'm wearing um, shorts. But this is one of the tops. I also bought a black one. It's a sweater. This is a size small. And the outlets always have such good sales. This was originally $44 and I got it for $14, which is like a Target shirt basically as far as price. And this feels like really nice. So I'm very happy with my two purchases from Gap. Honey, it's fine. Okay, it's time for a nap. <laughs>
not go smoothly at all. I will probably be overlaying a ton of music over that because he was not happy. You can probably hear him now. Anyway, so I've just been like learning more about what's been going on with this um, like scandal with the child stuff and it's like freaking me out, but um, I'm thinking that um, the comments will start going back up on my videos next week. I think I said that at the beginning of this video, but um, there will be comments on this video. And then um, my next video for sure, and the one after that will be my trip. So um, there will definitely be comments on all of those, and I'm probably going to start going about everything as usual after that. So I think this week and... Um, I think this week will probably just be like a weird week where all the comments are turned off of my videos and then I'll go back in and turn them back on as, as time goes on. So, uh, cause I have to do it manually. So it's going to take a long time. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Also, thank you to everyone who um, left a really sweet comment under my last video with my concerns about like his vision and just like his development and everything. Um, it really meant a lot to me. I wasn't able to respond to everybody, but I read everything and um, it's been so nice like getting to connect with all of you all I had so many people send me DMS and say like everything seems fine like I had the same issues and it turned out to be nothing so um, Hopefully that is you know, just the case for us his doctors seem to think he is perfectly fine So that's just what I'm going to to keep thinking as well. Like I said, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you will give it a thumbs up, leave some comments, and I will see you in my next one. Bye! So tell me what you're waiting for